Happy Monday, South. I'm Noah. And I'm Elise. Coming up on WTV, hear how you can become a camp counselor for a trip to Camp Seymour. Join us as we take a look at some highlights from homecoming weekends. And hear about tutoring opportunities for students who need some extra help. All that and more coming up on WTV. To start us off, South Colby Elementary is looking for camp counselors for their fifth grade trip to Camp Seymour. The trip is from January 28th through the 31st. You must be in good academic, attendance, and disciplinary standing. If you're interested, pick up an application in the counseling office and turn it in by November 1st. Remember South, today and tomorrow are normal scheduled days. Wednesday through Friday will however be half days, which means dismissal is at 1040. On screen now is the bell schedule for half days. Class still begins at 725 and there will be no late start on Wednesday. If you're looking to ride a different bus home, be sure to have a written note signed by a parent or guardian and turned into the main office before school starts. After school tutoring is now available, for sh available to students who, are, who need extra help with math or social studies. It takes place in the library every Tuesday and Thursday after school. Stay tuned for more information. Attention seniors, if you would like a custom photo in the yearbook, you can submit them now to skseniorphotos at gmail.com. Remember, all photos are due by December 1st. Today, Oregon State and Arizona University are visiting the Career Center. On Tuesday, Pacific Lutheran University and the College of Idaho will be here. Montana State will be, looking, will be visiting Thursday during 4th block. Faux spring is five months away. Some sports are already getting started. Hey South, are you interested in playing soccer for the school? Well, you should do after school conditioning. But what is after school conditioning and why should I do it? I'm very glad you asked. Coach Conley can answer that for you. So the conditioning we're gonna be doing is gonna include some weight room stuff. It's gonna be running outside. It's gonna be maybe doing some trails, some work on the stairs. We can get field time. It's gonna include working with the ball and maybe some drills and things related to that. And the purpose it's gonna serve is to hopefully get everybody into game ready, physical shape and mental shape so they're ready to take on opponents in one of the toughest leagues in the state. Well, I'm not sure I can make it every day of conditioning. How flexible is the schedule for being there? So the schedule is incredibly flexible. We understand that some athletes can make it some days, they can't make it others. Sometimes they have to go to work, sometimes they have to make up a test after school. It's gonna be as flexible as it can be. It's Tuesdays and Thursdays from 2.15 to 3.45. And if you're gonna play and you can make it, you should come and work out with us. But that being said, we want to be as competitive as possible. So if there's no reason why you can't be there, you should be there. I'm new to conditioning though, is there anything I should know before I go? Come in with an open mindset and the need and want and desire to put in the work because that's what it's going to take. To compete in this league, we have to be not just good at soccer, but we have to be physically capable, we have to be mentally capable. What are you doing to help yourself prepare your body and your mind for the battles that are going to be taking place? Remember, 2.15 to 3.45, in the weight room every Tuesday and Thursday. By the way, you don't need to be part of a sport to stay in shape. Also, hopefully all their conditioning will mean a great season for boys soccer team. Boys Swim Dive will have a preseason meeting on October 29th after school in the Commons. There will be many different topics discussed. If you're unable to attend or for more information, see Mr. Anderson. In sports, football had a grueling game Friday. Through the wind and rain, Porter got SK's first touchdown of the night. Clay scored another touchdown late in the fourth but the big news of the game was homecoming court. After a great show by the band and dance, Deacon Mulligan Bowers and Grace Smith were crowned SK royalty. Way to go, and don't let your new royal powers go to your head. In the schedule events, today C-team and JV football will be away. Volleyball will be at home, and boys water polo will be away. Tomorrow, only girls soccer will be in action. C-team will be at home while JV and varsity will be away. In club news, FCCLA is hosting a star event workshop after school today in room 106. Bring your laptop and ask any questions you may have about the project you selected. D&D Club will meet in stage 2 today and they'll run every Tuesday in the Commons starting next week. Spectrum Club will meet after school on Wednesday in room 318. Builders of Unity invites everyone to come watch the movie Coco and have hot cocoa after Friday, on Friday after school. They'll discuss the movie and its context around diversity. Come enjoy a great movie and great company. The club's meetings today are FCCLA, D&D, Interact, National Honor Society, and Magic the Gathering. 
Meeting tomorrow will be astronomy, ASL, cosmetology and self-care, journalism, poetry, and speech and debate. So, did you go to any of the homecoming activities? I did! Even though we weren't able to win the game, the dance on Saturday was amazing. Well, sounds like it was a lot of fun. I wish I was there, but we have to wrap up the show now. You're right. See you later, SK. Yeah.